What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're taking off the spare tire on my Jeep Wrangler. So I am doing the spare tire delete. As you can see on the sides, I have a pretty beefy setup of 34 inch tires. So this does not match. I've had it on for a little bit now. And personally, I just don't want a full size spare on the back. I don't really like how it looks. And knock on wood, I haven't had to use a spare at all on any of my vehicles. And so everyone does a full size spare. I'm gonna go a little bit different. And so I have this bracket here from Super Re. So we're gonna be installing this. I'll have all of their information down in the description below. I have a few other parts from them as well. So definitely check them out. I am really digging the spare tire delete kit. You can see 1941 and a Jeep logo here. Unfortunately, that's where the license plate goes. We also have the backup camera mounted up top where you can see it's right in the middle of the tire right now. So this is a pretty cool kit. First thing that we have to do is remove this bracket housing the backup camera. And you can just use the tool that came with your Jeep. All you have to do is turn this, I think it's 90 degrees to the left, and then you can slide that right off. And then if you have a normal tire iron, I'm just gonna use the one that came with my Jeep. We can go ahead and loosen up these bolts here. With the spare tire off, now we have to take a T25 and we're gonna loosen these seven bolts here. You wanna do that first before you remove this because we have the third brake light wire, which is sandwiched in between here. So that's gonna make it easier to uninstall this before you remove this. With those bolts now removed, I can't get the third brake light out just yet. It's sandwiched in there pretty good. So I'm gonna move on to the eight bolts that hold this thing in place. They are a 13 millimeter. And so I'm gonna start with the upper four just to loosen this a little bit and then we can slide this out. Okay, so I did go ahead and loosen the bottom four without taking them out. If we kind of fish this wire out, we can kind of just let this hang. All right, so as you can see, we are in a bit of a predicament right now because all these wires are going two different ways and there's nowhere to rest all these. I thought we'd have a little bit better of a setup here, but what we're gonna go ahead and do is remove the third brake light here. There's two screws, I'm assuming it's the same T25, and then we can unplug it from here, so that gets that out of our hands. And then we have to work on loosening the backup camera. So we're gonna use two screws on the bottom side, you can see the top of them right here, and that should take this bracket off somehow, Then we should be able to get that backup camera out, and then we just have to work on the wiring here. All right, so can you remove that? I got the bracket, yep. Okay, so there's that. Do you wanna just, un yeah, we'll just unplug it. We could have put a, a bolt in here to hold it and then loosen these bolts here. These bolts seem to be in there pretty good. So what I went ahead and did is put two bolts on the top to hold this in place. And currently in the process of moving right now, so I don't have a hammer, we're gonna use this and uh, basically just hit them kind of evenly to help push them out. Like, is there any way from the other side we can, that's a little, oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> so. When, in, oh, when you don't have a hammer, sometimes that's what you gotta do. Grab that, oh, the whole camera came with it. Oh, wow. Okay. So if you can slide the cable. Yeah, slide it towards me. All right. So with a change of scenery, it turns out we needed more tools than just a hammer. So we are going down to a T9 to take out the backup camera. There are three little bolts here that we'll go ahead and remove. There we go. Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do on the reassembly is we're gonna start with the third brake light and there's actually notches in the top of this bracket just like the factory. So that is really cool to see and we'll just go ahead and bolt this into place. With the third brake light now mounted at the top, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the license plate lights. The kit comes with two as you can see here and we have a hole on both sides. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the wiring for it and run it through the back there. And then there's a hole on both sides where you can mount this up with the supplied hardware. I can go ahead and put this into place. And with the license plate lights now mounted in place, we can move on to the backup camera. So the kit came with this bracket here. You'll see there are three pre-drilled holes in it. The backup camera will line up nicely. With those, I have all the supplied hardware to use. You can see we are dealing with very tiny screws here and very tiny screwdrivers and washers as well. So it's a little tricky, but with that in, hopefully the camera can pick up how tiny that lock washer is, but it does come with those as well, along with the locking nuts. So we got the backup camera mounted and you might need a second hand. These screws are very, very small. So if you're lucky enough to have a small enough socket, that'll work. If not, just use the tools that you have. And so now this only mounts one way. So I was a little nervous 
if we would have the backup camera upside down on the center screen or not, but it only mounts one way, so this should be correct. So just putting it on the back side now, you'll see it pop up in this gap, and then we can use the same hardware that we just used with those tiny lock washers, and then we can go ahead and mount this into place. With that trim piece off now, the best way that we're going to do this is we're gonna take the wire and stick it through here so it's gonna be wired into those license plate lights. We're gonna tap it into this section here so the wires are hidden and you won't be able to see them. And then we're gonna take the wire up underneath this weather stripping here and then actually go behind this panel here and tap into the factory license plate light switch. So that's a lot, but that's the best way we're gonna hide all these wires. So in order to start removing this panel here, we have to flip up these three pieces here on these tie down hooks and we can remove this piece. With those out, we can easily just remove that out of the way. And slowly, I'm gonna start pulling this panel out, popped out just like that. And then I can just start following it all the way around. I do have to pop this tab here on top of the seat belt. So once I get this out, that will actually loosen the connection between this and the panel next to it. So we should be able to pull this somehow, right? Let's see, is there another one up here? So that kind of, there we go. Yeah, back there, there we go. So now what we're doing is we're going ahead and removing the driver's side taillight. There's only one bolt that does that. And so from here, what we can actually do is take the spot where the bolt goes. And if you can see on this side, Brian, you can take this out. So we're gonna fish the wire up underneath that. And then from there, we're going straight down to where you can see my hand. And this is actually where the plug is. We have the wire spliced into the factory housing as we showed earlier. So what I'm going to do is pull on this wire so we can have this as high as possible, giving us enough wiring to make it to the other side. So with that all the way up, I can go ahead and get the tail light in. And with that in, if you come around the other side, you can see that this bracket here is still pretty flush. So we can put that bolt back in that actually holds the tail light into place. So we have a majority of the wiring all set and we went ahead and ran some on the back side of this plate. So we can go ahead and finally install this. We will be using the factory bolts that you saw me remove earlier. And then we can go ahead and connect this to our other wiring. Now I'm sure there might've been some kind of power source we could have used in this tail light. So we are using more wiring than came with this kit since we're running it to the driver's side there. Uh, so that probably could have worked, not really sure, but this is how we're doing it. So I can go ahead and fish this through. And then from here, we can also go ahead and plug in the third brake light, which is all the way up here. And we might uh, figure out how to shorten these wires or at least hide them behind here if possible. There's a lot of space in here that we can do that. So that shouldn't be an issue. And then this is our backup camera. We have both of our wires now and obviously we have to connect them. What we're going to do with this wire here in order to hide it is put it in this strap here. So we're gonna poke a hole, small hole on both sides and fish it through. So I have a much sturdier wire that we'll put through. That way we can pull this one through and then we can attach them, button everything up and that'll be our wiring. All right, so let's see if we can do this round two. So we're getting there. Now we can fish this through, however much we don't need, right about there. So we still have some play when the door opens and closes, of course. With all the wiring and everything buttoned up on the interior, now we can go ahead and put on my license plate so you guys can get a sneak peek how this kit looks. And I've already noticed just closing the tailgate how much lighter it is <laughs> without the spare tire. So I have these brackets here that I can put on. I do have some extras, so I will be using the bottom ones too but that is going to be pretty much our fitment just like that. This looks pretty cool. The only thing that I'm not a huge fan of is this wire here and maybe these things here. I'm not sure if they come off, they probably do, but then you probably see another hole or something like that. So this is pretty much how all of the kits look. So there we have it, the installation and deinstallation of the spare tire. So now we have the license plate bracket there. I think it's pretty cool. It's a lot more unique because you see a lot more Wranglers Having the full size spare on the back, I just didn't want that. So we have this kit here from Super E. Definitely check out their website. Not a bad installation. It took us a couple hours just figuring out everything. So hopefully this is a good step-by-step -step for you if you'd like to do this to your own Wrangler. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on our daily uploads. We'll see you guys in the next video. Oh